Hey guys, thanks for dropping in. So we're having a power outage where I live. So I've got a flashlight hung up above. I've got the K2 on battery power. Uh, let's see, I've got a phone in front of me with the reverse beacon network that so far is blank because the data throughput is uh, running over Bluetooth to the phone that I'm recording on. So I don't think we're gonna get the reverse beacon network. We've got a guy in Japan, JE1ORU calling CQDX. I've called him back a few times, but haven't gotten the uh, real good results. I'm running about two watts, if I can keep the battery power running as long as possible. You're probably telling me I should turn off the backlight on the display, but if I did, I can't see it because I have no lights in the room. So this is the, uh, the late night DX with absolutely no electrical noise in the house, except for the garage door opener, which is beeping about every minute because it's running on battery power and the charger quit. So this is uh, uh, late night in the ham shack uh, with no power. It's 12.30 a.m. and uh, having a great time. So uh, that's a quick update for you. Thanks for watching. I'll tune around a little bit. I, I don't think there's much. This, this JE1 is way too weak for me to even copy, let alone call. We'll, we'll, we'll try it maybe one more time here. Are you able to copy that? And he goes back to CQ again. So we haven't made it to uh, to Japan on our on our couple of watts overnight. And I, I think uh, sounds like he's probably got more power. And even then, there's lots of QSB. So not much chance on that one. Well, that's better. Mm, I don't know, that's some kind of weird bubbling kind of propagation. I'm not sure if I can copy that one. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see what I can do and I'll let you know later. See ya.